Hello dear students and once again welcome back to this online class video. This is the first part of the third chapter how many squares of class 5 subject mathematics. Start the class. At first let's have an overview of today's class. So today's class topics are the first is introduction to a square. The second is introduction to parameter and area and the third is measure stamps. Now come to the name of this chapter that is square. How many is square? So you all are very familiar this word that what is a square in your previous classes? You have studied about it and let me clear this word once again using this red box. So you can see that this red box has four sides one, two, three and four. Okay and you can see that all these four sides are equal and it has also four angles angle 1 2 3 and 4 and you can see that all angles are in the shape of L it means these are right angles which are making 90 degree so this is a perfect square now we can define this that what is a square so a square is a shape which has four equal sides with four equal angles now I think there is no doubt with this word. Now come to the question. Uh, measure the side of the red square on the dotted sheet. Draw here as many rectangles as possible using 12 such square. So two task is given in this one question. First we have to measure the length of this red box. Uh, I think it may be 1 cm or it may be 2 cm. Okay, you can check it by using ruler. Okay, and now second is we have to make a rectangle, one rectangle using 12 square. How can you make it? Let's try to make it. So first uh, we have to make a square like this red box. Okay, means if you will join four dots, okay, so you will get one square, right? Similarly, you have to uh, make 12 squares by joining the sides of one by one all squares so let me take the first one I have taken now more 11 I have to make so this is the second this is the third and now four fifth six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so you can see that the squares are made but the lines are not straight so to make straight lines you can use your ruler okay now another square uh, for rectangle we are going to make so now we will take a pair of three squares three and four to make a rectangle so first I have taken from here okay this first box then this is the second and this is the third so in one uh, vertical line I am taking three is uh, squares okay similarly you can take from left to right four squares so one two this is the three and this is the four similarly you can join this all dots so finally you can see that uh, we have taken one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so with twelve squares we have made a rectangle okay and this is the first rectangle it is our second rectangle in this way you can make many rectangles was it interesting yes very interesting you can make as many rectangle using 12 square okay now uh, how many rectangles could you make so we could make only two rectangles you can make more than two now here is a one so this type of rectangle you can also make using a square box now uh, each rectangle is made out of 12 equal squares yes so all have the same area yes definitely but the length of the boundary will be different so what do you mean by the length of the boundary yes it is perimeter here you can see length of the boundary is called perimeter let me clear this word for example here you can see this uh, rectangle which is made using uh, 12 uh, squares so the 
this boundary okay this black boundary you can see this is the perimeter okay this thing is known as the perimeter of this shape clear means the outer length of a shape is known as its perimeter clear now another word is here area that what is an area confused actually the area is the occupied space by a flat shape for example let me clear uh, you can see here that uh, one red box is here okay and it is completely filled as you can see so this filled uh, space is its occupied space okay so this occupied space will be its area clear or in another way you can say that the amount okay this amount of space inside boundary of a flat object such as a rectangle circle uh, square is known as its area okay so we have given two definition of area i think you have understand very well okay now uh, come to the next question uh, which of these rectangles has the longest perimeter we have to find the longest perimeter from that two and which of this rectangle has the smallest perimeter okay now once again we have to make that uh, rectangles the two rectangles that we drawn here so let me help you so this is the first then second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve come on my dear students help me to make a rectangle using twelve squares so here is your first rectangle okay now uh, let me make the second rectangle so by using the another color i am taking the black one so first second third as you can see here that i am taking black color for the second rectangle okay so 1 2 3 and this is the fourth so join the all dots okay so we have our two different type of rectangles so now you will tell me that which rectangle okay this is the rectangle 1 and this is the rectangle 2 so which rectangle has the more perimeter can you answer so to find the perimeter you have to uh, check the length of this shape okay so as i told you that if you will measure this red box length okay so you will find that its length is 1 cm okay one side is 1 cm so you will see that here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so it means it is 12 cm okay and the breadth is only 1 cm its another length will be also 12 and breadth will be 1 cm so how much is the perimeter just to find the perimeter you have to add this all sides so 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 12 25 plus 1 26 so you found the perimeter of the first rectangle is 26 cm now similarly you have to find the perimeter of the second rectangle okay so the length is of the one box is 1 cm one side then it is 2 3 means the breadth is 3 and the length is 4 because it has 1 2 3 and 4 sides okay so uh, its uh, opposite sides are equal so 4 and 4 it will be 8 and 8 plus 3 11 11 3 14 okay so it has 14 cm okay let me clear this once again the lengths are 4 4 cm and the breadths are 3 and 3 cm so 3 and 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 4 14 so the perimeter of the second rectangle is 14 cm and the perimeter of the first rectangle was 26 cm now you can easily say to me that the first perimeter the sorry the first rectangle rectangle has the uh, more perimeter okay now can you tell me what is the uh, area means which has bigger area actually they both have same area 
how can you say actually the formula to find the area of rectangle is length into breadth remember that what is the uh, formula that is length into breadth okay means you have to simply multiply the length and the breadth so 12 vanja it is 12 square centimeter okay square centimeter similarly here you can find for the second uh, rectangle you have to multiply the length which is 4 and the breadth is 3 so 4 3 is 12 it is also 12 square centimeter okay so the their area is same but perimeter is not same okay so the first rectangle has more perimeter wow it was a very lengthy calculation now come to the next question so in this page page number 34 you have uh, understand about perimeter area and how to find perimeter and area 